Welcome to the Bobby Mo Game Show, March Magic Edition. Let's play RMU Says. From the end of the rainbow, here's your pot of gold, magical host, Nathan Kingston. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bobby Mo Game Show. I'm your host, Nathan Kingston, and today we have a great show for you to hear today on RMU Says. And this time it is a Magic March edition. And I have two great teams with me today. Over on our light green side, we have Team Lucky Charms. Give them a nice little round of applause over there. And over on our dark green side, we have Team Four Leaf Clover over there. The Four Leaf Clovers. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, if you don't know how the game works, basically there's a blank taken out of the question, and our contestants have to fill in that blank with a partial answer. You'll see how the game goes here shortly, and every correct answer here by our contestant is worth 100 points. So let's get started right now. All right, starting off over here with the Lucky Charms. First off, Anna, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, so uh, what made you want to try to join uh, your team today? Um, we watch this show a lot and we think that we could do a good job. Oh yeah, hey, there's some prizes on the line, so let's we'll see what happens here. Your first question in round one is, I can't wait to spring ahead in March and get outside and play what? I can't wait to spring ahead in March and get outside and play what? I'm going to say volleyball. Can I see volleyball? Yeah. Volleyball, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Number one answer there by our RMU students in our survey. Going on over to Michelle, correct? Yes. Michelle, how are you feeling with this game today? I'm feeling great. Feeling great? I'm feeling lucky. Feeling lucky, I'm yes. Feeling oh, by the way, I love those sunglasses, by Thank the way. Thank you so much. Very I festive. I'm definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, same question to you here. I can't wait to spring ahead in March and get outside and play what? Baseball. Baseball. Baseball is correct. Yes, good answer there, good answer. Oh, Went over to Alex, correct? Yep. Alex. All right, same question to you here. I can't wait to spring ahead in March and get outside and play what? Uh, let's go with football. Football. Football is correct. That's one of the Fs up there, yes. All right, going down here to the end to Mason. Mason, Yes. yes. I can't wait to spring ahead in March and go outside and play what? Uh, pickleball. Can I see pickleball? Pickleball is correct, yes. That's a one dime down the line. Let's see if we can keep it going here, Anna. I can't wait to spring ahead in March and get outside and play what? I'm going to say tennis. Tennis. Tennis is correct, oh my. We have no strikes here and two answers left. Going back to you, Michelle. Can't wait to spring ahead in March and get outside and play what? Frisbee. Frisbee? Frisbee is correct, oh my. We might have a clean sweep here. All right, don't let your team down here. Alex, you got this. Can't wait to spring ahead in March and go outside and play what? One answer left, no strikes. Uh, cornhole? Cornhole? Cornhole is correct, how about that? A full clean sweep by the Lucky Charms. All right, now I'm gonna go over to the Four Leaf Clovers for their first question in round one. All right, Jordan, how do you guys feel after that first question to Lucky Charms? Not gonna lie, all of us are kind of over here uh, quite intimidated. <laughs> they are quite intimidated, how about that? All right, your first question here in round one, Jordan, is if you don't have a bunny, blank, is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. If you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. Our answer should be popping up there soon. What do you think you got here? I'm thinking we're gonna go with a dove. He's gonna go with a dove. Dove is correct, yes. Great start, great start. Number two, Justine. Justine, I see you have your Harry Potter house. Yeah. You, I'm guessing you're a big Harry Potter fan. Massive. Massive Harry Potter fan over here. Same question to you here. If you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. Gonna have to go with rat with that R. She's gonna go home with a rat. A rat is correct, yes. Yes. All right, gonna go to Hayden. Hayden here. First off, you were in Army Theater, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, this whole team is. How about that? <laughs> Heather's just finished up this past, uh, this past couple weekends ago. <laughs> All right, how about that? <laughs> and we have a cabaret coming up here soon. Anyway, a little selfless plug there. Hayden, <laughs> same question to you. If you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. I'm going to say a pigeon. A pigeon? No, that's incorrect. That's the first strike of the game. Oh, wow, some booze already. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going over to Michaela. Michaela, your question is, if you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. What do we got here? I'm going to say cat. A cat? A cat, yes. A cat. A number one answer there by RMU students. 
All right, Jordan, we got one strike here. Some answers left on the board. If you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. Um. <laughs> I love the confidence over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, how about a seagull? A no seagull? Oh, <laughs> no, it is oh, not man. a seagull. That is two strikes for Team Four Leaf Clover. The other team can still here. Justine, all on your shoulders here. I know. If you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. They didn't teach us this at Hogwarts. What? Um, what do we got here? Two strikes. We got four answers left. Just in general, a bird. Just a, a bird. Let me see a bird. A bird is correct. <laughs> wow, we got very, very vague for that one. All right, back to you, Hayden. You got two strikes here. A couple answers left. If you if you didn't have a bunny, blank would be something you, you would pull out of a hat for magic trick. An animal like this. I'm going to say a squirrel. He's going to say a squirrel. <laughs> squirrel is correct. <laughs> All right. All right. Michaela, let's keep it rolling here. Yeah. If you don't have a bunny, blank is an animal you pull out of a hat for a magic trick. I'm going to say snake. A snake. A snake uh, is correct. <laughs> all right. And now it all comes down to Jordan again. All right, Jordan. One oh answer God, left. Nate, Nate, Two I don't wanna, strikes. The other please, team Nate, can no. steal if they want. If you didn't have a bunny rabbit, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. Well, my natural instinct would have been pigeon, but that's already been said. Yes, <laughs> pigeon is already said. Do not say pigeon so, again. Um, crap. We're just <laughs> uh, what other animals have feet? Platypus? <laughs> I don't know, Nate. Is that your final answer? <laughs> we'll give you five more uh, seconds. Uh, 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 parrot? A parrot! <laughs> no, oh. it's not a parrot. That is three oh strikes. God. Gone on over to the Lucky Charms to see if they can steal this last answer. All right. You guys had some time to collaborate here. Anna, if you didn't have a bunny, blank is an animal you could pull out of a hat for a magic trick. We're going to say puppy. A puppy! A puppy yeah. is correct, yes! Great steal there. All right. At the end of round one, we currently have a score. Of Lucky Charms up at 800 to our Foley Clovers at 600. So it's still anyone's game here right after this. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We have this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. love. If I could go back and change it all, I would. I, would. I think I'm going to miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's just a little moment. If I could go back and change, I could go back and change it all. I could go back. <laughs> I would, but I can't. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Yes, look at that live studio audience we have over there. Welcome back to RMU. We had a great first round with currently a 200 point lead here by the team Lucky Charms, but it's still anyone's game here in round two because every correct answer is worth 200 points. So let's get right into it. All right, starting off over here with the Lucky Charms again. Starting off here with Michelle. First off, how do you guys feel after round one? Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. You guys got a nice little lead going on, a nice steal right there at the end of the round. So let's get right into the second round here. Your first question is, a blank is a common instrument in a marching band. A blank is a common instrument in a marching band. What do you got here, Michelle? Say drums. Uh, just drums. Drums or drums. Drums is the number one answer there, Michelle. Yeah. All right, going over to Alex. Alex, same question to you. A blank is a common instrument in a marching band. 
let's go with tuba. A uh, tuba. A uh, tuba is correct, yes. All right, Mason, on to you. A blank is a common instrument in a marching band. You know, trumpet. A trumpet. Trumpet is correct, yes. Going over to Anna. All right, blank is a common instrument found in a marching band. A saxophone. A saxophone. Saxophone is correct, yes. All right, back to you, Michelle. A blank is a common instrument in a marching band. I want to say flute. She wants to say flute. Is flute up there? Flute is up there. <laughs> All right, Alex. No strikes here. We got two answers left. A blank is a common instrument found in a marching band. Uh, let's go with clarinet. A clarinet, let's go with. Let's go with a clarinet because that's up there. All right, Mason, down to you, man. We got one answer left, no strikes, so still, we're still good. Yeah, we're a blank is a common instrument found in a marching band. Having some trouble, uh, but we have drum, I'm gonna maybe snare drum? Snare drum maybe. he's going with. <laughs> no, okay. it's not All up right. there, unfortunately. Right. That's okay. first okay. strike okay. for the Team Lucky Charms of the whole game. Anna, one strike here, one answer left. The other team is so giddy, they, they are trying to steal this one. A blank is a common instrument in a marching band. I'm really trying to think, but I'm kind of blanking on another instrument that starts with S. I will say, this is the hardest instrument up there, unfortunately. The other team is so confident, the most, they've, the most confident they've been, but you still got this. You still got you two got strikes this. left, guys. Come on. We'll give you five more seconds here. Say anything. Okay, you got this. I don't, I'm trying to think of another. <laughs> Oh, that's too much time there. That's a second strike for the Team Lucky Charms. Michelle, I'm gonna say, two strikes. I'm going to say symbols. She's going to say symbols. <laughs> that starts with a C, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. People do it all the time. All right, going over to the four leaf clovers for this steal. All right. You guys have some time to collaborate. You guys seem so confident yeah, over Nate, here. I really hope you don't. A blank is a common instrument in a marching band. What do we got Here's here, guys? Here's the thing, Nate. I played it in high school. <laughs> it's a sousaphone. It's a sousaphone. Yes, it yeah! is. It's a sousaphone. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> How about that? A nice oh, steal there. Nice. It's only one steal, but it's double the points here in round two. Now, time for Four Leaf Clover's second question. Oh, their first question in round two. <laughs> All right, starting off this time with Justine. Justine, first off, how do you guys feel after that steal? After the steal, we're feeling really good. Really good? Yeah. Great, <laughs> wonderful, grand. Let's get going. A blank is a magical creature found in fairy tales. A blank is a magical creature found in fairy tales. What do we got here, Justine? Unicorn. A unicorn? Yeah. Unicorn is correct. Yes, number one answer there. All right, go on to Hayden. Hayden, a blank is a magical creature found in a fairy tale. I'm going to say an elf. He's going to say an elf. Elf it's is me. correct. It's me. Wow, that's, that's, very, that's a coincidence right there. That's a really good coincidence. All right, Michaela. Yes. A blank is a magical creature found in a fairy tale. I'm going to say dragon. She's going to say a dragon. A dragon oh, is correct. Dragon! Yes. All right. Going over here to Jordan. Also, great steal, by the way. But here you are for this question. A blank is a magical creature found in a fairy tale. I think I'm going to have to go with Mermaid. He's going to have to go with Mermaid. And it's because it's up there. That's why it's up there. All right, back to Justine. A blank is a magical creature found in a fairy tale. We still have no strikes here. Could it be a witch? Could it be a witch? Is it a witch? Yes, it's a witch. <laughs> All right, Hayden. A blank is a magical creature found in a fairy tale. I'm going to say a fairy. He's going to say a fairy. A fairy is correct. Yes. Wow. 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 <laughs> All right. All right, wow. Michaela. Yeah. We got no strikes. We have one answer left. You put a lot of strikes on me right here. <laughs> That's what I'm here to do. Yeah. All right. A blank is a magical creature found in fairy tales. Ooh, with a C? Yes, yeah. yes, with a C. It does not start Ooh. it cannot start with an S. Oh. I'm sorry, <laughs> Michelle. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Say anything that starts with a C. C. Uh, yeah, was that, was that caterpillar? <laughs> Is that your final answer? You'll give you five if I more can't seconds think of anything here. Anything else? Caterpillar. Yeah. Caterpillar. <laughs> no, Dang it's not it. caterpillar. <laughs> All right, back to you, Jordan. We have one strike here. One answer left. A blank is a magical creature found in fairy tales. Is it a cyclops? Is it a cyclops? 
Yeah. Oh, it is not a Cyclops, unfortunately. That was a great answer there. Great answer. All right, Justine. Two strikes, one answer left. Uh -huh. The other team can steal. A blank is yeah. a magical creature found in fairy tales. Is it a centaur? Is it a centaur? Centaur yeah. is correct. <laughs> that is a clean sweep by the four leaf clovers. Caterpillar. 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 All right. Caterpillar. And at the end of round two, we're going to be right back here after this for round three to see what happens next. Right after this. I don't remember how it started. Nor today. Oh boy. Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. There's so many rewards in life. You coming into our home was one of the greatest rewards we could have ever had. You know, it took 20 years, and I got my third child, who was 17 at the time. It's so cool to watch the adult that you've become, and you really have done as much for us as you think we've done for you. Most of my family, they never graduated high school or even let alone go to college, so I'm trying to break that barrier. Every day after work, went straight to school, studied hard, and, and it paid off. I could not have done it alone. I see the future is really bright for me. The high school diploma is just added to the confidence, and now I feel unstoppable. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Hello, yes. Hello, and welcome back to RMU Says. We had a great riveting game, but the store scores are Team Four Leaf Clover is currently up at a 200 point lead at 2,200 points to our Lucky Charms at 2,000 points. But it's still anyone's game here with a 200 point deficit. So in round three here, every correct answer is worth 300 points. And at the end of this round, we'll see who our winner is. But in the third round here, every question's a bit harder for each team. So let's get right into it. All right, starting off over here with Team Lucky Charm. Starting with Alex here. First off, how do you guys feel after that last round? Feeling a little, little knocked down, but we'll make it back. We'll yes. Make it back. How about that pep talk? How about that? I, I am so encouraged right now. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Alex. It would. Be, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that in a mean way. <laughs> All right. Your question here in round three is: It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, blank played for the Orlando Magic. It would be funny, instead of being at Disney, Blank played for the Atlantic Magic. Let's go with Goofy. We're going with Goofy. <laughs> Goofy, yes, number one answer there. Okay, Alex. All right, going over here to Mason. Mason, same question to you. It would be funny of, if instead of being at Disney, Blank played for the Atlantic Magic. Pluto. Pluto. <laughs> Pluto is correct. Yes, Pluto is correct. All right, going over here to Anna. Anna. Same question to you here. It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, blank played for the Orlando Magic. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is correct. Yes, Mickey Mouse. All right, back to you, Michelle. It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, blank played for the Orlando Magic. Um, I'm going to redeem myself and say Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Yes, and that is a redemption well deserved. <laughs> back to you, Alex, here. It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, blank played for the Orlando Magic. Let's go with the Seven Dwarves. The Seven Dwarves. Yes, the seven dwarves. Wow. Great answer. Great answer. All right, Mason, on to you. It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, blank played for the Orlando Magic. We have no strikes here with two answers left in the third round. Wow. I have no idea. <laughs> I love your honesty. <laughs> Just give me a second. Yeah, yeah. We'll give you about ten more of those. <laughs> Ooh. We got a three word up there with a little hyphen. It's kind of weird and a T long word. Uh, what do you got here? The head nod is what he's got. <laughs> <laughs> Give you any answer, man. I really don't have anything for you. And that's a timeout on that one. That's all right. That's the first strike for the Lucky Charms. Going over here to Anna here. We got two answers left. One strike, so it's still, still good. It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, blank played for the Orlando Magic. Let's see. 
<laughs> in the words oh, of Mason, what? he said, see. <laughs> Anna, you got this. We already got a bunch of Disney characters up there. We got two left. Tweety Bird? Tweety Bird. Is that <gasps> Unfortunately, I don't think that's Disney. <laughs> that's Looney Tunes, I think. But hey, we're good. We're still good. We're still good. All comes down to you, though, Michelle. Michelle, it would be funny if instead of being at Disney, Blank played for the Orlando Magic. We got two strikes. We got two answers left. The other team can steal. I'm going to say Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell is correct. Yes. All right. Yeah, there you go, Michelle. <laughs> All right. Alex, all on you now here. I'm sorry for the pressure. It would be funny if instead of being at Disney, Blank played for the Orlando Magic. One answer left. Um, let's go with... The other team can steal here. <laughs> and it seems like they also don't know the answer. <laughs> let's just go with Wally because of the W, so... <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. All right, let me see Wally. It's okay. <laughs> what? It's okay. All right. It's okay. Going over here to team for Leaf Clover. See if they can get the steal. This steal is worth 300 points, guys. Don't <laughs> add insult to injury, Nate, please. Um, Anybody. Anybody. Hush. Um, oh, I, just didn't I know it. Wreck it, Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph! Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Which, oh, wow. I don't know. Wreck it, Ralph would be a great guy in Orlando Magic. Just saying, it might help oh. him as well. <laughs> Although Bro, got that it's last. now time for the question for the four leaf clovers in round three here. Let's see if they can keep this lead going, but the other team can still steal those points. I'll be starting off here with Hayden. Hayden, how do you guys feel after that steal? Uh. Confused, but great. <laughs> he feels confused, but great. All right, your guys' question here in round three. The word that often follows the word magic is what? A word that often follows the word magic is what? Let's say wand. Wand. Wand is correct. Yes, number one answer there. All right, Michaela. Mm -hmm. A word that often follows the word magic is what? I'm going to say magic broom. Magic broom. Oh, it is not Magic Broom. Great answer, though. Great answer. All right. Going over here to you, Jordan. Jordan, we have one strike. Still got a whole board. A word that often follows the word magic is what? Nate, hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if this is wrong, I'm, I'm not looking too good. All right. Mike. <laughs> magic. <laughs> Mike. Mike is up there. It's up there. I don't want to know. Hey, I'm just thankful it's up there. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. I don't want to know. I don't want to know, but we're going to keep moving on. Justine. Uh huh. Okay, we got one strike here. Got a couple answers left. A word that often follows the word magic is blank. Magic books? Magic books? Oh, it is not magic books. That is two strikes for Team Four Leaf Clover here. Back to you, Aiden. All right. The other team can steal here, and they could end up winning the game. A word that often follows the word magic is what? I'm going to say energy. <laughs> <laughs> Good I energy? Know. I don't know. No, it's not energy. That's three strikes. I didn't All right. Oh, we have some booze coming on. All right. Team Lucky Charms, you guys can win the game here. You guys need a couple answers to win this game. Starting off here. Actually, no. For the steal, we'll keep it going here with Anna. A word that often follows the word magic is what? Johnson. Magic Johnson. Oh. Magic Johnson. <laughs> yes, Magic Johnson. If Magic Mike was on there, Magic Johnson was going to be on there. <laughs> All right. Michaela. Or Michelle. I'm so sorry. Michelle. Okay, Michelle. You were making fun of me with the symbols. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A word that often follows the word magic is what? Trick. Magic trick. Magic trick is up there, yes. Got to keep it simple here. Alex, word that often follows the word magic is what? Uh, spell. Magic spell. Spell is up there, yes. All right, Mason. Yes. Um, word that often follows the word magic is what? I'm thinking magic eraser. He's thinking magic eraser. 
Magic eraser. It's not energy. It was eraser. Aiden. It's all right, though. All right, we got one answer left here. Anna. A word that often follows the word magic is what? Ball. <laughs> magic ball? Yeah. Let me see ball. <laughs> no, it's not ball. All right, that's the end of the steal there. Uh, live studio audience, what do you got here? Uh, batter. <laughs> it's, batter. It's not batter. Um, <laughs> uh, if you know the uh, good old fairy tale, uh, Jack in the Beanstalk, we have some magic beans there, guys. Oh. Some magic beans, unfortunately. Into the woods. Anyway. Energy. At the end of round three, we have a final score of We have a final score of basically we had the team of Lucky Charm, the Lucky Charms winning. Uh, our tally is coming up here soon. Sorry about the delay on that. Unfortunately, our team Four Leaf Clover, with that giant steal they had, they end up taking the win. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry, guys. But right after this, we're gonna have a bonus round for some extra bragging rights. Stay tuned. What to expect when you're expecting? A teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, no, I, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Word. I'm the awkward silence. You try to avoid me, then there I am again. But an awkward silence can be a great thing. Like Kelly here is about to demonstrate. You haven't really been yourself lately. Are you okay? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. All right, welcome back to RMU Says. Yeah, sorry for the technical difficulty there, but we had Team Lucky Charms winning at 5,000 points to our team of Four Leaf Clovers at 3,100 points. But this extra bonus round is all for extra bragging rights. So uh, it doesn't matter who team gets the, uh, gets the uh, answer here. But basically, the bonus round works. The first question has one answer. second question has two answers. third question has three answers. And you know how it goes, through so on and so on. Anyway, uh, I'll be starting off over here for the first time in the bonus round with our winner's side. All right, going over here to you guys. First off, how do you guys feel after that win? Great game. Great game. Great game. Straight to the point. It's strictly business. All right, all right. Your first question here in the bonus round is, Anna, the magician's signature trick involves sawing a blank in half. One answer here. A woman. Yeah, a woman. A Good woman. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> all right, going over. I'll be bouncing back and forth here. Going over here to Jordan. Your question here. There's two answers here. I wish the salads I eat when trying to eat healthy magically tasted like what? I'm going to have to go with chocolate. Hey, he's going to go with chocolate. Chocolate's up there, yes. All right, Justine. I wish the salads I, I eat when I'm trying to eat healthy magically tasted like what? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream is correct. Yes. Now going back over here to you guys over here to Lucky Charms. Michelle. I want to say, oh my gosh, I can't say that word. <laughs> and abracadabra. Abracadabra. Oh my gosh, and that's why I'm not a speller. Uh, I want to say abracadabra and make my blank magically disappear. Our answer should be popping up. There they are. I want to say agra, abracadabra. I can't speak either. I'm going to say, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Those are very long. I was going to say hands, but now I want to say hamster. Think about it. What do you have going on this week? Oh, midterms. Midterms. <laughs> yes, it's midterms. All right, Alex. Oh, it's homework. What do we got here? Uh, for H, let's just go with homework. Homework. Homework is correct. All right. Mason, what do we got here? I don't know. We're on the theme of school. So what do we got? I'm thinking like paper. Paper. Paper is, plural. Paper is not. Mm. I got 99 what? Anybody? Problems. problems. Yes, problems. <laughs> anyway, 
Anyway, thank you for tuning in to RMU Says this week on the Bobby Mo Game Show. I want to thank both teams for coming out. Thank you guys for both coming on. Hope you had a great time. And we will see you next time right after spring break.